The Gans Works or Gans Hungarian, Gans Vallelátok or Gans Movek, Gans Enterprises or Gans Companies was a group of companies operating between 1845 and 1949 in Budapest, Hungary. It was named after Abraham Gans, the founder and the manager of the company. It is probably best known for the manufacture of tramcars, but was also a pioneer in the application of three-phase alternating current to electric railways. Gans also made ships Gans Danubius, bridge steel structures Gans Aselserkese, and high-voltage equipment Gans Transelectro. Since 1989, various parts of Gans have been taken over by other companies. History Before 1919, the company built ocean liners, dreadnought-type battleships and submarines, power plants, automobiles and many types of fighter aircraft. The company was founded by Abraham Gans in 1844. He established his own iron foundry in Buda in the Kingdom of Hungary. Consequently, this factory played an important role in building the infrastructure of the Hungarian Kingdom and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. At this time the agricultural machines, steam locomotives, pumps and the railway carriages were the main products. At the beginning of the 20th century, 60–80% of the factory's products were sold for export. At the end of the 19th century, the products of the Gans and Partner Iron Mill and Machine Factory here and after referred to as Gans Works promoted the expansion of alternating current power transmissions. Topic. Prominent engineers Prominent engineers at Gans Works included Andras Mekwart, Karoly Zipanowski, Mixer Derry, Otto Titus Blathy, Kalman Kando and Erno Wilczek. Topic. Power plants, generators turbines and transformers In 1878, the company's general manager Andras Mekwart founded the Department of Electrical Engineering headed by Karoly Zipanowski. Engineers Mixer Derry and Otto Blathy also worked at the department producing direct current machines and arc lamps. Generators The first turbo generators were water turbines which drove electric generators. The first Hungarian water turbine was designed by engineers of the Gans Works in 1866. Mass production of dynamo generators started in 1883. The missing link of a full voltage sensitive, voltage intensive VSVI system was the reliable alternating current constant voltage generator. Therefore, the invention of the constant voltage generator by the Gans Works in 1883 had a crucial role in the beginnings of industrial scale AC power generation, because only these type of generators can produce a stable output voltage, regardless of the actual load. Transformers and Cooperation, Zipanovsky, Blathy and Derry known as the ZBD team constructed and patented the Transformer. The Transformer was named by Otto Titus Blathy. The three invented the first high-efficiency, closed-core shunt connection transformer. They also invented the modern power distribution system, instead of a series of connections they connected supply transformers in parallel to the main line. The Transformer patents described two basic principles. Loads were to be connected in parallel, not in series as had been the general practice until 1885. Additionally, the inventors described the closed armature as an essential part of the transformer. Both factors assisted the stabilization of voltage under varying load, and allowed definition of standard voltages for distribution and loads. The parallel connection and efficient closed core made construction of electrical distribution systems technically and economically feasible. The Gans Works built the first transformers using iron plating of enameled mild iron wire, and started to use laminated core at the end of 1885. Power stations in 1886, the ZBD engineers designed, and the company supplied, electrical equipment for the world's first power station to use AC generators to power a parallel connected common electrical network. This was the Italian steam powered Rome Cerchi power plant. Following the introduction of the transformer, the Gans works changed over to production of alternating current equipment. For instance, Rome's electricity was supplied by hydroelectric plant and long distance energy transfer. 
electricity meters the first mass produced kilowatt hour meter electricity meter based on Hungarian Otto Blathe's patent and named after him was presented by the Gans Works at the Frankfurt Fair in the autumn of 1889 and the company was marketing the first induction kilowatt hour meter by the end of the year these were the first alternating current wattmeters known by the name of Blathe meters topic Internal combustion engines and vehicles The beginning of gas engine manufacturing in Hungary is linked to Donat Banki and Janos C. Sonka but it is not clear that they ever worked for GANs. GANs produced engines whose designs were licensed to Western European partners, notably in the United Kingdom and Italy. Timeline 1889 The first four-stroke gas engine was built by the GANs factory, 1893 – The manufacture of paraffin and petrol-fueled engine with carburetor 1898 – The manufacture of engines with the Banki water injection system 1908 – The introduction of a new petrol engine type, the Series M 1913 – The manufacture of busing petrol engines for trucks 1914–18 – The manufacture of fighter plane engines 1916 – The manufacture of petrol engines, type Fiat 1920 – The modification of petrol engines for suction gas operation 1924 – Georgi Gendrasik started his engine development activity 1928 – The first railway diesel engine was completed, according to the plans of Gans Gendrasik 1929 – The first export delivery of a railway engine using the system of Gans Gendrasik 1934 – There was an engine reliability world competition in the USSR where the GANS engine achieved the best fuel consumption in its category. 1939–42 – Construction of the Gendrasic CS1 turboprop engine 1944 – The first application of the engine type 12 JV 170 240ths in a motor train set 1953 – Modernization on of the diesel engine system GANS Gendrasic 1959 – The union of the GANS factory and the Mavag company, establishing GANS Mavag. Railways The GANS company started to construct steam locomotives and steam railcars from the 1860s. Between 1901 and 1908, GANS works of Budapest and de Dion Bauton of Paris collaborated to build a number of railcars for the Hungarian state railways together with units with de Dion Bauton boilers, GANS steam motors and equipments, and Raba carriages built by the Raba Hungarian wagon and machine factory in Gaia. In 1908, the Borjavolgi Vasset BGV, a narrow gauge railway in Carpathian Ruthenia, today's Ukraine, purchased five railcars from Gans and four railcars from the Hungarian Royal State Railway Machine Factory with De Dion Bauton boilers. The Gans company started to export steam motor railcars to the United Kingdom, Italy, Canada, Japan, Russia, and Bulgaria. The Gans Works, having identified the significance of induction motors and synchronous motors, commissioned Kalman Kando to develop them. In 1894, Hungarian engineer Kalman Kando developed high voltage three phase AC motors and generators for electric locomotives. The first ever electric rail vehicle manufactured by Gans Works was a 6 HP pit locomotive with direct current traction system. The first Gans made asynchronous rail vehicles altogether two pieces were supplied in 1898 to Evian Les Bains with a 37 HP asynchronous traction system. The Gans Works won the tender for electrification of the Valtellina Railway in Italy in 1897. Under the management, and on the basis of plans from Kalman Kando, three-phase electric power at 3 kV and 15 Hz was fed through two upper wires and the rails. The electricity was produced in a dedicated power station and the system operated for 30 years from 1902. Italian railways were the first in the world to introduce electric traction for the entire length of a main line rather than just a short stretch. The 106 km Valtellina line was opened on 4 September 1902, designed by Kando and a team from the GANS works. The voltage was significantly higher than used earlier and it required new designs for electric motors and switching devices. 
The three-phase two-wire system was used on several railways in northern Italy and became known as the Italian system. Cando was invited in 1905 to undertake the management of Societa Italiana Westinghouse and led the development of several Italian electric locomotives. In 1918, Cando invented and developed the rotary phase converter, enabling electric locomotives to use three phase motors whilst supplied via a single overhead wire, carrying the simple industrial frequency 50 Hz single phase AC of the high voltage national networks. After World War I, at the GANS Works, Kalman Cando constructed a single phase electric railway system using 16 kV at 50 Hz. A similar system, but using 15 kV at 16.7 Hz, later became widely used in Europe. The main attribute of Kando's 50 Hz system was that it was fed by the normal power network, so dedicated railway power stations became unnecessary. Because of the early death of Kalman Kando, Laszlo Verabelli continued the work for the Hungarian State Railways Mav. Rail rolling stock In 1959 Gans merged with the Mavag company and was renamed Gans Mavag. In 1976 Gans Mavag supplied 10 standard gauge three-car diesel trainset to the Hellenic Railways Organization designated as Class AA91 and 4-meter gauge four-car trainsets, designated as Class A6451. In 1981–82 Gans Mavag supplied to OZ 11 BB diesel hydraulic DHM 7–9 locomotives, designated as Class A251. Finally, in 1983, OZ bought 11 3-car meter gauge trainsets, designated as Class A6461. All these locomotives and trainsets have been withdrawn with the exception of one standard and one meter gauge trainset. In 1982-83, Gans Mavag supplied an order for electric multiple units to New Zealand Railways Corporation for Wellington Suburban Services. The order was made in 1979 and was for 44 powered units and 44 trailer units. See New Zealand M class electric multiple unit. Topic. Trams Gans Mavag delivered 29 trams two car sets to Alexandria, Egypt from 1985 to 1986. <laughs> Shipbuilding In 1911, the Gans Company merged with the Danubius Shipbuilding Company, which was the largest shipbuilding company in Hungary. From 1911, the Unified Company adopted the Gans Danubius brand name. As Gans Danubius, the company became involved in shipbuilding before, and during, World War I Gans was responsible for building the dreadnought SMS Sazent Istvan, all of the Navara-class cruisers, and built diesel-electric U-boats at its shipyard in Budapest, for final assembly at Fiumi. Several U-boats of the U-29 class, UXXX class, U-31 class and U-32 class were completed, a number of other types were laid down, but remained incomplete at the war's end. By the end of the First World War, 116 naval vessels had been built by the Gans Danubius Company. The company built some ocean liners too. Aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> The first Hungarian aeroplane factory was founded by the Gans Company and Weiss Manfred Works in 1912. During World War I, the company made many types of Albatross and Fokker fighter planes. The world's first turboprop engine was the Gendrasic CS1 designed by the Hungarian mechanical engineer Georgi Gendrasic. It was built and tested in the Gans factory in Budapest between 1939 and 1942. It was planned to be fitted to the Varga RMI-1X, H-twin engine reconnaissance bomber designed by Laszlo Varga in 1940, but the program was cancelled. Gendrasic had also designed a small-scale 75 kW turboprop in 1937. After World War II 
In 1947, the GANS Works was nationalized and in 1949 it became independent and six big companies came into existence, including the GANS Transformer Factory. In 1959, GANS Wagon and Machine Factory merged with the Mavag Locomotive and Machine Factory under the name of GANS Mavag Locomotive, Wagon and Machine Works. Of the products of the works, outstanding results were shown in the field of the manufacture of diesel railcars and multiple units. Traditional products included tramcars as well, and customers included the tramway network of Budapest. In the meantime the foundry workshop was closed down. In 1974, the locomotive and wagon works were merged under the name of Railway Vehicle Factory and then the machine construction branch went through significant development. The production of industrial and apartment house lifts became a new branch. Gans Mavag took over a lot of smaller plants in the 1960s and 1970s and their product range was extended. Among other things, they increased their bridge building capacity. They made iron structures for several Tisza bridges, for the Erzsebet Bridge in Budapest, for public road bridges in Yugoslavia and for several industrial halls. The Gans shipyard experienced its most productive times during the four decades following nationalization. In the course of this period 1100 ship units were produced, the number of completed seagoing ships was 240 and that of floating cranes was 663. As a result of the great economic and social crises of the 1980s, Gans Mavag had to be reorganized. The company was transformed into seven independent works and three joint ventures. GANS since 1989 In 1989, the British company Telfos Holdings gained a majority of the shares in GANS Railway Vehicle Factory Co. Ltd and the name of the company was changed to GANS Hunslet Co. Ltd. In the course of 1991 and 1992, the Austrian company Genbacher Werke obtained 100% of the company's shares and consequently the railway vehicle factory is now a member of the international railway vehicle manufacturing group, Genbacher Transport Systeme. At present, the Gans Electric Works, under the name of Gans Ansoldo is a member of the Italian industrial giant, Ansoldo Breda. The Gans Works were transformed into holdings. Gans Danubius was wound up in 1994. The Gans Electric Meter Factory in Godolo became the member of the International Schlumberger Group. In 2006, the power transmission and distribution sectors of Gans Transelectro were acquired by Crompton Greaves, but still doing business under the Gans brand name, while the unit dealing with electric traction propulsion and control systems for electric vehicles was acquired by Skoda Transportation and is now a part of Skoda Electric.